a good way of quickly creating toolpath is to use the machine feature command where EdgeCam uses its default strategies to produce CAM instructions. As the command name intimates a solid feature is required, otherwise we cannot use this function. In this example, I wish to profile machine the centre pocket shape, thus I'll ask EdgeCam to feature find for pockets. I'm not sure what type of pocket shape I'm going to create, so I'm going to wear on the side of caution and pick all possible pockets combinations. A 3D pocket is created, but alas this clearly isn't the shape that I had in mind. Thus I cannot create a feature and therefore cannot use the machine feature command to manufacture the shape. I'll use shift delete to completely remove the unwanted feature, this bypasses the recycle bin. Luckily we do not have to abandon using our automation command, we can create the feature by using the wireframe mill feature function. Within the dialog we can accurately describe the characteristics of the mill feature. We of course need wireframe entities to create this type of feature, it's too slow and cumbersome to manually create them, so I'll head over to the features tab, geometry function and create a silhouette. I pick the solid body and now you'll notice that a continuous entity has been created accurately representing the inner profile. So with our new profile I can use the wireframe mill feature command. I fill in the parameters for the dialog, in this case the, the level and the depth at minus 12, don't need to fill in any of the other parameter select the XY profile and as I've got my render feature command on straight away we can identify the feature. If I zoom in closer you'll actually notice on the legs of the profile we've got our slot center line. This indicates that the slot cycle can be used if we wish to do so later on. So we can now head on over to manufacturing into the machine feature command I've already selected the tool, I only want to finish, which will give me the profile cycle. And I select our new mill feature, which was created from wireframe, and now I have a successful toolpath. I just simply wish to skim finish the inside of the profile. And just check that out inside the machine simulator too. It all looks perfect. Because we noticed that the new feature indicated center lines, this means that the slot milling cycle can be used. I've set the cycle to solid, I've set my association on, and now I can just simply pick the new feature. And those areas with the center line marker, you'll now notice the cycle can now execute just in those particular areas. So it's not just Automation commands can work with the new feature. We can obviously use manual cycles as well. A further bonus is that we can also update the geometry that belongs to the new feature. Here we see the original continuous. It comprises of many entities. We explode this continuous and this returns it back to those original entities. In other words, back to the lines and arcs. And now what I wish to do as an example is just convert the sharp corners into a fillet blend and now what I can simply do is re-expose the manual feature and we can edit that feature and ask the feature to now adopt the new shape so we move along to the window we open up the pocket select cord and now re-pick re-chain the new profile shape and you'll notice that the feature changes and so too will the machining commands.